All right, I got a quick one for you guys today, man. We're taking a first look at the Infinix Note 12. You know, I don't do a lot of cell phone videos, but when I do, I like to bring you guys budget options just to see if you could get some good value on the budget end instead of spending a thousand or more for today's top-notch devices. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see exactly what's good. Now, like I said, this is kind of like a first look. So make sure you're subscribed to see how this handles as my daily driver over a couple of weeks. Quickly on the specs though, let's get into these and see exactly what this phone is offering at the price point. So this is the Note 12. The version that I have here is the 256 gigabyte with eight gigs of RAM, 500 milliamp hour battery. It comes with Android 12. This has the Helio G96 processor and to top it off, it comes with a 33 watt flash charger. I got it in the little clear case that usually comes with these type of budget phones. And that's good because you know it's hard to find cases from the big brands on phones like this. I'm always amazed at how good these budget devices are feeling nowadays. This does not feel like a cheaply made device i like the feel of the back here it doesn't feel like it'll slide easily out of your hands and my hands are lotion right now so that would be like the perfect case for this just sliding everywhere but it actually feels good power and fingerprint button here on the side with your volume rocker then down here on the bottom i do like the fact that you still have a headphone jack i'm always going to be a fan of that you do have usb-c and then here is your speaker Honestly, the audio is not bad. It's not amazing by any means of the word. It's not gonna blow you away, but you will be able to get a solid audio response out of this budget device. Now let's take a quick look at the phone and see what the software experience is like. This uses the XOS engine based off Android 12. As you can see, we have the Helio G96 processor with a 16 megapixel front camera and the 50 megapixel triple camera on the back. Now, like I said, this is based off Android 12. So you do get the Play Store and Google apps. I like that, but I don't like the added bloat that comes with it. The NSYNC app like JT and the boys about to show up and sing, XShare, We Life, and whatever Carl Care is. Who exactly is Carl and why does he care so much? It's definitely not a stock Android experience, so just keep that in mind. Here before I've really installed anything, the phone feels snappy and responsive. Let's open up a site in Chrome and see how long it takes. I've definitely seen worse. With a phone starting at $199, you just hope it doesn't feel as slow as a flip phone from the 90s. Opening up the camera, you have an almost overwhelming amount of modes. The AI camera identified this as a plant and took this shot. Y'all tell me in the comments if it did a good job. Also, while you're down in the comments, if you have any specific app you'd like me to try out, let me know and we'll cover it in the final review. Honestly, man, I'm interested to see just how I will fare in the day-to-day -day use of this. I'm actually going to put my card in here and this will be my main device going forward for the next week. We'll do, how about a week? We'll do a week with it and see exactly how good it is. Now, as y'all can see, it's getting pretty hot in here. So I'm gonna ask you this, down in the comments, leave me any questions that you would have for a device like this. Anything that you want me to test, any particular games, anything that you would be interested in, let me know down below in the comments. I'm gonna get up out of here. If you wanna check this out, make sure you check the link in the description. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holla at your boy.